got a new screen, that's right. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another day in the life of a teacher. I'm gonna show you guys some cool things that we're doing with technology. Um, so today is like really embedded with technology. Just showing you guys what we're doing. We're learning about the stars and the sun. So we're finishing up it really. So I've already taught basically everything with this um, unit and our test is Thursday. So today is Monday. October 31st, which is Halloween. I already had my first class and I just went to an IEP meeting and now I'm back up here. I just ran up here really quick to do this introduction as well as take a breather, just a second. But yeah, so the IEP meeting ended a little early, so um, that's why I'm up here. But yeah, I wanna show you guys what my first block did um, and show you guys like I, I can stay, man. I just really haven't really shown you guys like what how I develop the lesson, so I want to make sure I start using those these opportunities to do that. So our standard is recognizing the importance of the sun with reasoning, um, basically knowing that the sun um, emits light and heat. I can say, man, is I can describe the importance of the sun's energy, light, and heat. And then our central question is, how would life be without the sun? So basically, like I said, I already taught um, what light energy, radiant energy, like um, heat, and all that stuff. I already taught that that the sun gives off those types of energy and then uh, we talked about gravity telescopes stars the differences the um, characteristics of a star all those things so today I want to embed writing into our lesson so I do a lot of integrated um, integrated learning okay so we are writing a story dear mr. Sun and each group so I have four groups and each group has to um give a sentence about like why they appreciate the sun thank you mr sun or life how life would be without the sun each group is going to do that and then they're going to put their drawings one paper like this and then draw a picture everybody else like so the leader is going to draw the picture and do all the writing um, everyone's going to write their own in their journals but then she's going to get the or he's going to get the writing and then compile it into one paragraph um and then everybody else is going to go on Google images and find something that ties into their writing. They're going to throw it to our board. So this is what the other class did. They're going to throw it to our board. Um, a lot of kids wrote about the sunset and like the energy, the heat and stuff like that. So they're gonna throw it to our view board, which I'm gonna be showing you guys all those cool things. And then they're gonna be able to submit it. Um, that's just, just like an exit ticket. And so we've already practiced using the whiteboard. So they kind of got, you know, the hang of it, I will show you guys how we are using it in the classroom to enhance our learning, as well as we're gonna be using the whiteboard too, or the view board to um, do our bell ringer. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So I just wanted to hop on and give a quick introduction. Uh, kids line up at the door. It's a spider. It looks good. Perfect for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I like your nails. I'm in Stanford was. So that's a spider? Yeah, yeah it's a bad position. Let me see yours. Yours got eyes. Everybody else. How many how many eyes does a spider have? Two. Two. Two? Oh, it's a lot. Eight. <laughs> Eight. 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 Alright guys, come on up. The question is, why does the sun appear to be much larger than all other stars? You're going to put your answer choice and then press send. Just like that and press the blue button. There you go. Good job. How come my name's not up there? Did you press send? Oh, it's All right, good. Because they wrote it with a, they typed it in. You could put, the, for these, you can write it with your finger, guys. Make sure you use capitalization and punctuation and spacing. I'm looking at all of that. And then go click your image that you got. 
first open. All right, it should be uploading. It's sent to the white one. Officer says, tie your shoes. Every day I tell you to tie your shoes. Maybe I shouldn't tell you. Maybe the consequences of not tying them may happen. So you saw you tell people to shut up. You go play. I need to talk to him. And don't be sharing that food either. Okay. Food in his bag. Why are you sitting with me? Cause you hit people. Huh? You hit somebody. No. How'd you do? I hit the speaker. Why you want to hit the speaker? Mm -hmm. You like, okay, so as long as you sit here, you just have to have an explanation. So however long you take, it take for you to figure it out. I want to know why you hit the speaker. And you were talking. You got marked for talking. I hope it wasn't during the lesson. I don't think so. You don't know? I'm not, I'm not even sure. That's a shame. I think it was probably... I think it was probably during the lesson. I know it was, it was for talking to mine. Okay. Well, I want to know why you hit that speaker. You just felt like hitting it? It looked like something you need to hit? No. Because it's Halloween, you want to go crazy? No. Okay. So what is it? Kyrie hit it. Oh, you want to copy somebody? Mm -mm. Well, he hit it, you want to hit it. Mm -mm. How'd it go? And Terrence hit it. So you want to hit? That's, I mean, you're telling me that the reason why you hit it is because other people hit it. Mm -hmm. So we want to copy. So why didn't you get in trouble? Why didn't you get no mark? Um, because the teacher didn't see him do it. Oh, but she saw you, huh? See how that worked? Mm -hmm. So we're at recess right now. Just hanging out. I had a few kids had to come talk to me because they got marks. And so we have like a mark system here at the school where... Uh, the kids who get in trouble, they like for like, we have three R's: respect, responsibility, and being ready. And if they get a mark within those two, three categories, for two marks they have to sit five minutes. Um, sometimes it's not five all the way, but they have to sit for some time and talk to me. And then if they get three marks, they have zero recess, so they don't have no recess. So right after recess, we have lunch. So we hang out here. I bring my lunches. My kids bring their lunches, and so. Um, we come straight into the building and go straight to lunch. So that's what we do. And then we go back to the class for one more lesson. Oh my gosh, it's a bee. Oh Lord, that's not a bee. But okay, I will see you guys after lunch. See, the sun is brighter than all other stars. Or D, the sun has more gases than all other stars. You can send it, yes, send it. So it's the end of the, of the day. Um, I do have a science team meeting that's starting in like two minutes. And um, I'm going to be doing that. And I already have my classroom like kind of picked up and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you guys what I do to end the day. But it really is not a big deal. I kind of just wipe the desk down before they leave. And um, I get my kids to pick up the floor and stuff like that. We charge the computers. We already done all that and i walked them down um for dismissal and then i uh come back up here and do what i do here like try to like pre-plan before <laughs> for the next day um i don't know i probably need to get better at planning but it just works out for me to just know what's happening at least a day in advance instead of trying to plan 
for a whole week or a whole month. Um, I know exactly what I'm doing in the week. I know that I test is Thursday, so I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of review this week. We have a half day on Wednesday, so I'm going to be reviewing Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I test is Thursday. So that's that. That's that's all that is. And so I'm going to hop on here and do this meeting real quick, and then I'll pick you guys up later on. Okay. All right guys i swear i don't wear this shirt every day i literally haven't worn this shirt in like two or three months but the last time i filmed i wore it i think the last time before that i wore it so yeah don't get the wrong idea but um anyways one of my students left their book bag and they have their tablet inside of it and so mom just called to say put it away put it up something something so i guess you're gonna have a tablet tonight well it is halloween by the way so maybe they'll go trick-or-treating it won't be on your tablet I don't know, but I'm going to get out of here. I just got my meeting and um, she's just checking in to see if everything is okay. Everything, do we need anything for science as well as like, um, do we need like supplies? Our unit testing coming up. Our test is Thursday um, and we're gonna be testing on the sun and the stars. Today's lesson was basically just a way to incorporate um, technology integrated with ELA and science so I just wanted to show you guys that lesson pretty cool lesson and the kids really enjoyed it um, they love to put their work on the view board and let me show you guys I got some cool ones on this one this last class let me show, turn it around all right so this is the last class and then basically they're just talking about like what we need I thought that was pretty cool of the northern stars and or the northern lights and yeah, so I can just flip over mm -hmm. here to get extra ones when the kids like basketball and stuff like that. I was trying to really get them to think mm -hmm. outside the box. Mm -hmm. And then this was the last, I think I already showed you guys this, but this was the last class before this last class. So this was the second class and I just gave them just a little, without the sun we could not do, oh, we could not see. <laughs> Play outside, eat plants, uh, swim, discover the world. And then this was their pretty cool board, guys. It's um, going to be where we use our anchor charts or make anchor charts on here as well. Um, the kids can submit their work here. They can do some research themselves, answer pop questions. It's just a really good board. I'm bored and I'm just diving into learning more about it. So yeah, that's that. And this is the overview of the classroom, how everything looks kind of picked up together and some stuff still out of place because kids cleaned up this area. And some might love a jacket or shirt, some papers. That's the book bag. And yeah, so my area, I try to keep it tidy over here, but it's like, oh, Lord and mercy. I do do tier two intervention. So I have that for that. And then like, this is my little area. Somebody's printing something. And then I try to keep this up to date every day and change it out. And we're gonna be doing this for social studies come Thursday. Just learning about the timeline of Florida because we're in the state of Florida. And then over here, I do update this over here all the time. So what I'm about to do right now is change out this month for October to November. And then um, these are going to stay up here for another couple days because we're still talking about the sun and stars. All right, guys, so I got disrupted by um, my speech uh, pathologist person. She was just, um, want to talk i guess and um so i just was showing you guys this little area right here this is all the things we've been learning social studies wise branches of government uh bill of rights or the bill of rights and then we're going to dive into like native americans for native american heritage month which is uh, which is november which i didn't know that until yeah i found that out so i still hadn't put the border up i am in my teen teachers room doing uh our list for tutoring so we'll be tutoring um starting uh oh that's, that's i need that we will start tutoring tomorrow so i'll be tutoring eola along with my teen teacher tutoring eola reading um to get these kids pulled up i did not tutor last year um officially because i had just had a baby i had just moved to pensacola so yeah school did go up from a d to a b last year so i'm excited about that keeping it moving despite the circumstances these kids are under i just want to end the vlog here um it's kind of all over the place at the end and i just wanted to make sure that you guys um 
you know, see a glimpse of my life or my life as a teacher. If you guys want to check out the view board, I'm gonna have it in the description. I'm just gonna make it permanent right there. So anytime you guys see these videos and I mention the view board, you'll have it in the description so you can see and um, utilize it for maybe your school may want to try it out. Maybe, you know, you want to put it on your classroom wish list or whatever. Um, it's a great tool and I'm gonna be showing you guys more um, ways to use it um, in every video that you see so that's fun and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys on the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe